Like, Interception. Yeah, Kyle Fuller. He was looking like the sixth heartbeat right there, leading the band, <laughs> singing. He had his backup dancers going. The Bears, they go on and get the win. Now moving their season mark to a solid 8-3, 23-16. They come away with the W. Chase Daniel yep. in that fill-in role. 27 of 37 for 230 yards, a pair of touchdowns. And, Willie, the one thing that we touched on is the fact that the Bears – didn't really run the ball. Just 15 uh, carries, 38 yards, not very Chicago West. No, nah, and a little surprised by Matt Nagy. I thought he would come out um, and, and be a little more physical up front. I don't know what the game plan was, but once the game started, I was like, hey, listen, they want to open this defense up and throw the ball. I know they've struggled in past defense, but Detroit actually did a solid job today at covering. And if it wasn't for a couple of turnovers, this game was right. They were neck and neck the entire time. I just thought opening up uh, the way and style you need to play, especially without your starting quarterback, uh, you should establish the game by running the ball, being a little more physical up front. And once they started to put guys inside the box, Cole, then it will open up more, more plays down the field in the passing game. All right. Well, both of these quarterbacks in this game, both – Natives of the Lone Star State of Texas, Chase Daniel, and of course, Matthew Stafford. And you look at these guys, their numbers somewhat similar. I mean, 27 of 37 for Daniel, 28 of 39 for Stafford. The big glaring difference is that the efficiency of Chase Daniel really rose to the top. Yeah. Two touchdowns, zero interceptions, the exact opposite for Matthew Stafford in this scenario right there. So 2-0 and versus 0-2, more times than not, you're going to win that battle of the turnover battle every single time. And Chase Daniel, he was extremely efficient out there. He Two was. touchdowns, zero interceptions. That's all you can ask in that fill-in role for Mitchell Trubisky. He was. He was, and I understand it. But, uh, you know, from a backup, a guy who hasn't played that much, I know he was very familiar with the system. Mm -hmm. You just don't want to put that much pressure in him. Try to take some of the pressure away uh, by, like I said, running the football. And luckily, you got a defense. You know, that can, make, that can make plays. How important was this win for the Bears, knowing that Chase Daniel had to go out there and be efficient and not knowing what the end result was going to be in this game? Very process. efficient. I mean, they're trying to establish themselves in the division. They're trying to establish themselves in the playoff. And, like, I, you know, it, I'll take an ugly win over a beautiful loss any day. And the, the name of the game is finding different ways to win football games. Of course, we know what the defense, what they're going to bring to the table. But this offense has been a little inconsistent throughout the year. We're trying to find what's their real identity. And for me, like I said, being that division, being the classic Chicago Bears vintage team, I want to see you be a little more physical. Get in some of those traditional running okay. uh, uh, back backfields. Go power football sometime. I get it, the spread offense, and you want to do all that, but you got the personnel to do both. Okay. And I think you keep guys, you know, a little off balance when you do that. Okay. How about the NFC North, Willie? Look a like little bit it. like this. With with the loss, the Lions, they're holding down the cellar right about now at four and seven. The Green Bay Packers, they have a pulse, but yep. is very faint right about now. Four, five, and one. Vikings, they just fell to the Bears on Sunday, five, four, and one. And it's the Chicago Bears. Like we said earlier, as crazy as it sounds, at eight and three is eight and three and moving forward with five games left for Chicago. Still Will that not be enough, good enough, man. You need more. And I know it's one game at a, at a time. And the goal has always been you got to win a division first. And in that division, it gets it, it gets a little sketchy going towards the end because you never know what Green Bay is going to do. Temperature start to drop. Yeah, even even if they're not in the playoff, they're going to come out and compete. And I look at Minnesota and I look at Green Bay, and one thing I can say is they can score points. Okay. Maybe not be consistent, but they can score points. So. You got to use certain things offensively to slow those offenses down and keep those guys off the field. But it's a it's a physical division. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's an inconsistent division. You never know uh, which team is going to play at a certain level uh, when you when you line up against them. And all the team all the games are going to be close. So you can't afford to go out and lay an egg and just drop games mm -hmm. because the next thing you know. You won't win a division, and you'll be fighting to get in the playoffs. They're in, a good, they're in a great position right now. What do you think? Bigger threat to the Bears. Is it the Vikings or is it the Packers? Because we know well. as the temperatures start to dip, yeah. it's all about running the ball and yeah. playing defense, and that's what the Bears are looking to do, even though they didn't run the ball very well in this one. I think it's the both. Okay. I think when you talk about the uh, Green Bay Packers and Aaron Rodgers in the offense, they're a little frustrated. They want to go out and they want to score points. They've been criticized of not doing enough offensively lately, um, and, and they'll do that. And when you talk about about Minnesota, they can hurt you a lot of different ways, and they have a defense that can go in and take the ball away and limit you from doing certain things. So um, you've got to play each team differently. It's one week at a time. Don't worry about the division. Don't worry about all those things. Worry about one week at a time. Don't get ahead of yourself.